Hello everybody and welcome to Paris, Ontario. It's not the Paris you know. We didn't have to fly here, take a boat, anything like that. We actually drove because it's only about an hour and a half from my house. Our first stop today is the Penman's Dam, which I'm about to show you. We're very excited. It's a beautiful fall day. So this is Paris. This is us at the dam. And then the actual town sort of city center is a little bit lower. So we'll make our way down the river. Hopefully to, I mean, get some croissants. We are in Paris after all. I didn't do that much research because I'm here with my family. As you may already know, know from these Ontario vlogs. My mom is the research tour guide extraordinaire on these trips, so as she tells me information and I learn it, I will divulge it to you. Actually, she's right here. Mom, what can you tell us about Paris? What is it most famous for? So apparently Paris is considered one of the most beautiful towns in all of Ontario, so I mean, I'm sold. You can see the town in the distance there. So pretty. So I've never been to Paris before, but I have seen lots of photos of it online. It's really famous, especially because it's got this one little strip of cobblestone houses that's right on the river. Looks like you're in some beautiful ancient European city. Very excited to see that. Just really excited to spend the day in another beautiful little town, to be honest. Actually, it looks a little bit like Stars Hollow with that little steam people over there. This is the dam, the bridge, the little info kiosk with the map. We're just gonna make our way down the river bend here into the city. My mom just enlightened me a little bit about Penman's Dam. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me over it in the background there. It was built by the Penman's Clothing Company over 100 years ago and they built the dam to use the water power to run their mill for the clothing manufacturers. There you go, this thing's over a century old. Also, if you've seen the movie Chocolat, which is one of my all-time favorite films, this little portion of the town actually reminds me a lot of the town from the film. Looks like the raspberry and truffle on top, key lime pie on the bottom. My mom got lemon pie, and my dad's run off with his vanilla. <laughs> it got super, super hot, so we thought ice cream would be the move. Mmm. Let me see if I can get the key lime pie here on the bottom. Oh yeah, delicious. They were having a two for five scoop deal today, so took advantage. Just finished the ice cream, 10 out of 10. I think I preferred the key lime, but they were both really good. So another fun fact about Paris, it's actually considered the cobblestone capital of Canada, I believe. And this is a really great example of all the cobblestone buildings they have in Paris. So you can see all of the cobblestones this building is lined with. And I believe the cobblestones were actually collected from the two rivers Paris is like built between. Really cool architecture. Our next stop, the Paris Wincy Mills Co. They did have a little farmer's market here earlier today, which is obviously winding down. But now we're heading in there. Which from what my mom tells me is a little sort of antique marketplace thing. So look around, see if there's anything fun. I love little knick-knacky shops and marketplaces like this. Yeah, looks really cute. Walking along the Nith River Bridge. This is actually where the two rivers that surround Paris actually meet. This one here is called Grand River, and the one going this way is Nith River. So we're currently on the bridge over Nith River, and they meet here in the middle. On this site, Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone, received from Brantford, Ontario on August 10th, 1876, the world's first successful long distance telephone call. Apparently there used to be a shoe store here, right? And that's where the call was made from? Picked up some of these really cute placemats from this adorable little boutique. 
Look at all their cute stuff. I also really, really love this pink glassware, but obviously I don't wanna lug this all the way to LA, but super pretty. They've got a bunch of adorable stuff in here. I love places like this, they're so cute. But this is the sale table and everything here was 50% off, so I grabbed some of these. I also really like that carpet, but again, can't take that all the way back with me. So this is the view. When you look Paris, Ontario up online, this is normally what you'll see right on the water. Grand River and this little Venice-esque waterfront view. I think it's hilarious that they've got their ACs on these little wooden decks. And look at the people canoeing or kayaking, doing water sports. For context, this is that view and that's the dam on the other side. Leaving downtown now. Bye Paris. Until next time. Hello everybody. It's a bit of a time jump as you can tell. <laughs> it's nighttime. I'm now here with my mom and we've come to downtown. We're actually right beside the Budweiser stage, close to Ontario Place. We just parked because because we are going to see a TIFF film. If you don't know what TIFF is, it is the Toronto International Film Festival. And we would normally see a film in a movie theater, but of course, theaters are not really a thing right now. This year, TIFF is doing a combination of drive-in movies, streaming, and I think they do also even have some screenings in theaters, but they're at like half capacity or something. So we've decided to come and we're going to see I Care A Lot at a drive-thru or drive-in. And I'm really excited because I've never been to a drive-in before. Have you, Mom? Uh, no. It's my first, first, there's a first for everything. And there's a show going on. We're not sure if we're going the right way, but we're just following the music. So hopefully, hopefully it's the right way. As I suspected, we were walking the wrong way. We're actually supposed to go that way, which is what we're doing now. And you can probably see the CN Tower behind me too. That was so funny. We were just walking and one of the um, traffic guards was like, do you make vlogs? Anyway, he subscribed to my channel, which is really nice. If you're watching, thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going back past our parking spot. Now there's like more anticipation because you know, it's like, are we going the right way? When will, will we ever find the theater? Who knows? I'm still excited though. Are you excited, mom? Oh, even more so. You're even more excited? Good. I love the energy. I love the positivity. People are honking instead of clapping for the... <laughs> for the show. We just finished the movie. The credits are rolling and I just wanted to show you guys. Look how beautiful Toronto is. First drive-in. How was our first drive-in movie? Mom's giving a big thumbs up. We loved it. And like, you can't beat this. Like you got your screen, the city, 100 out of 10. It was so good. We had a really good spot. We were right in the first row, right by the screen. Now everyone is leaving. We're just gonna pack up and head out. Movie was 10 out of 10. I actually highly, highly recommend it. This was one of my favorite TIFF films I've probably seen. It was called I Care A Lot with Rosamund Pike and Peter Dinklage. When it's out, go see it. A little bit later now, we took a quick drive over to the Chester Hill Lookout. It's another beautiful lookout spot in Toronto. Very similar to Riverdale Park if you've ever been, except that it's not a park. It's like a little crescent with this beautiful beautiful sundial mural and you have a lovely view of the city. Granted, you are close to the highway so it might be a little bit noisy, but it's worth the view, which I will show you right now. <laughs> have to see yourself as you a man. You have to start seeing yourself as a man. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for this week's vlog. Thank you so much for joining me for my day in Paris and then my evening at TIFF. I wish every Saturday was this good. This is gonna be my last Toronto vlog for a little while because I'm actually headed to LA next week. I feel like I got in a proper Toronto day. I got all of the good stuff in, TIFF, a city view, a little day trip somewhere fun in Ontario, a beautiful culmination before I head back out to the West Coast and start shooting season three of All American, which is very exciting. All right, you guys, that is it for this week's vlog. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, all that good stuff, and I will see you next week. Bye.